What is up? This is your LA in a minute. Today I'm going to talk about the history of the Hollywood sign. So the Hollywood sign was first erected in 1923 and actually read Hollywood Land to promote the name of a new housing development in the hills above the Hollywood district of Los Angeles. How did they get those 30 foot wide, 50 foot high letters up there? Well, with a mule team. So the sign was purposely scaled to match the size of Wilshire Boulevard, and the developers hoped that those stuck in traffic on LA's busiest thoroughfare at the time would dream of a life unencumbered in the hills and purchase plots in Hollywood land. With 4,000 light bulbs that lit up at night, the sign was hard to miss. So the sign was officially dedicated in 1923 and was only intended to last 18 months. However, due to the explosion in popularity of American movies, especially during the golden age of Hollywood, well, they left it up. So in 1949, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce began a contract with the City of L.A. Parks Department to repair and rebuild the sign. The contract stipulated that land be removed and spell Hollywood to reflect the district and not the housing development. By the 1970s, the first O had splintered and broken, resembling a lowercase u, and the third O had fallen down completely, leaving the signs severely dilapidated. I mean, look at this thing, Earth. I mean, we are talking about perhaps the most iconic sign in the entire world, and this is how it looked in the 70s. In 1978, however, Hugh Hefner came to the rescue as part of a public campaign to restore the landmark, along with eight other donors. They sponsored replacement letters made of steel, supported by steel columns on a concrete foundation. Alice Cooper was also one of the main donors. The new letters were 45 feet tall and ranged from 31 to 39 feet wide. The new version of the sign was unveiled on November 11th, 1978 as the culmination of a live TV special commemorating Hollywood's 75th anniversary of its city incorporation. Some say the sign is haunted by the tragic death of Peg Entwistle in 1932 who climbed to the top of the H and committed suicide. So even though the sign is on rough and steep terrain, there are barriers to prevent unauthorized access. And in 2000, the LAPD installed a security system featuring motion detection and closed circuit cameras. Any movement in the restricted areas triggers an alarm that notifies the police. So this building and antenna towers that are just to the right of the sign are the City of Los Angeles Central Communications Facilities, which supports all cell phone, microwave, and radio towers used by the LAPD, the Fire Department, and the LAUSD. So I'd never been to the Hollywood sign until today, and I'm very glad I went. I highly suggest it. Go to Lake Hollywood Park and walk up with the rest of the people. You'll see it. All right, LA. It's been a minute.